Hi, I'm Aranok. You might recognize me from my video essays, which can be found on my channel, same as my name. But uh, most of you probably know me as Jessie's co-writer on some of her videos. I mostly write about the importance of queer perspectives and about queer readings on art. What you probably don't know is that when I was a kid, I really liked the Harry Potter books. I don't really talk about it because it's kind of embarrassing. And we'll get to why in a moment. But this is the first book I ever read, this exact copy. It's um, actually bookmarked. It's bookmarked from the last time that I tried to reread the series. And I couldn't because it was too painful. This was probably, I don't know, 2018. People were still on the fence about how bad things were getting, but I wanted to hold on to my childhood for a second longer and pretend that it wasn't damaged. I experienced a lot of violence as a kid. Most of it because every other kid could tell I was queer. You know, after I came out, one of the girls I went to elementary school with messaged me and said, I'm not surprised because you always felt like one of the girls to me. So when I was a kid, I was pretty lonely. And I started reading pretty young. And Harry Potter became a safe place for me because uh, I needed something to disassociate into. I used to cart these books around with me and read them over and over and over again. I actually read Order of the Phoenix. I read Order of the Phoenix so many times that it destroyed the spine. Um, it's held together with tape. I haven't read it in a long time and I don't want to read it again. The reason I'm saying all of this to begin this conversation is that a lot of TERFs like to make it out as if trans people are just spiteful and evil and out to get JK Rowling and out to get any woman that dares to, you know, punch down on a marginalized group that is currently experiencing horrific amounts of violence. And I cannot express how strongly it, that that is so far from the truth. It is vile to claim that we want someone to hate us. Do you understand how disgusting it is to blame victims in that way? I would hope you do. I mean, I would hope you understand what it's like to be a woman in this society, but clearly a lot of you don't. When I was a kid, 
This was a safe place for me. As an adult, when I see anything related to that franchise, it's an immediate red flag. It tells me that I'm in danger. A couple of years ago, when I was still closeted in real life, but I was out online, I responded to someone with, you know, Hufflepuff house in their account bio, who I thought was innocently asking what the definition of pansexual is. And in my naivete, I just thought, oh, this is someone who wants to be educated, right? They, they just want to know, they just want to learn. So I told them. I would spend the next two months being continuously harassed en masse by TERFs. But most of all, by people with Harry Potter in their bio, in their profile pictures, in their account names. If you went and looked at their timelines, they'd have things that depicted J.K. Rowling as their patron saint. I'd say it's pretty disgusting to be sainted for your hate. But that's what this is. A religious fervor. A crusade. I find it ironic considering how much of these books was about how that's wrong. After I came out, but before I really tried to pass, I dealt with a lot of violence and discrimination in public. On two different occasions, women wearing Harry Potter merch stopped their shopping and stalked me through stores. One of them was stopped by security because it was so obvious that she was trying to do something to me. <laughs> when I see someone wearing that shirt, I pray that they won't notice me. Because I know that that shirt, that symbol, that franchise means hate. They are synonymous in my mind. As such, when I saw a bunch of supposed cis allies arguing that it's actually not a bad thing, that they're playing the game, and that the trans people should shut up and stop whining, I tweeted a snarky single line. People will call themselves allies and then still play the wizarding game. I didn't think that it would be that controversial of a take. It went viral and for the next two months, much like several years previous, I was continuously harassed by accounts with Harry Potter in their bio. When I see Harry Potter, I see thousands of messages telling me to kill myself. I see hundreds of people <laughs> I see hundreds of people calling me <laughs> I see hundreds of people calling me a rape survivor, a rapist. Do you understand what it's like to receive that amount of attention? To be told such a horrid things by so many people? <laughs> and I know so many other trans women, many of whom you're never going to hear because they have no platform, who have been similarly targeted.
J.K. Rowling has decided to make herself the leader of a hate movement. That is the reality. Down to writing a fucking manifesto. Her fans, and specifically the fans of that franchise, have made it their mission to ruin trans people's lives. To ruin my siblings and my, my own life. West Virginia is trying to pass a law that will functionally banish people, banish all trans people from public. And I see that. And then I have cis adults come groveling to me. Mm, please, I just want to play this stupid fucking wizarding game. Fuck you. I'm sorry, but your feelings about playing a crappy game, which is frankly deeply anti-Semitic, mean very little to me. Because every piece of support that she receives, monetarily, publicly, vocally, in any form, is just saying that, hey, this is acceptable in society. And I just have to ask, why are your cis feelings more important than trans lives? Why are you incapable of doing the absolute bare minimum? And I do mean the bare fucking minimum. It's literally nothing. There are hundreds of other games out there that you could go play. I'm tired. I'm really fucking tired. I'm tired of being afraid in public. I'm tired of worrying whether or not my trans siblings going to be able to continue just existing in certain countries. Most of all, I'm just tired of the idea that this woman holds any fucking importance in whether or not my community gets to exist. Right-wingers speak about having their childhoods ruined. When I look back at the place that I considered safe as a kid, all I can think about is that woman stalking me in the grocery store. All I can think about is those thousands of comments telling me that I am the most vile things they can think of. J.K. Rowling, I see your name, and it is synonymous with hate. Your books are hate symbols, and you are a hate movement leader. And I want you to know, deep down, that I don't hate you. I think you are so beneath consideration to even be worthy of my hate. No, I pity you. I think you are sad and pathetic and lonely. And I hope someday that you'll learn what it is to feel empathy and love and care for other people. In the meantime, I hope your miserable, tiny, cold heart continues to shrivel. I hope your friends abandon you 
And I hope that you know deep down for the rest of your life that you are one of the worst human beings currently alive. I pity you.